though. It's been reported this week quite a lot that Cheryl Cole has lodged divorce papers at London's High Court, which could see her four-year marriage to footballer Ashley Cole over before the World Cup begins. She allegedly wants a clean break so she can get on with her new life so he can concentrate on England's challenge. So, quickie divorces. Would we feel relieved or sad, Jane? I think relieved. Um, it, I think... As in, you know, someone like Cheryl, not saying it is Cheryl, yeah, but yeah. someone like that, they've, they've gone through a patch where I think they've done all their, yeah. is it going to work, is it not going to work? And I think you have to be truthful even to your partner because you, both of you have to go off and make another life. And it's, it, I think it's very unfair if you're thinking, well, it might work, it might not work, but inside you know it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think mm -hmm. you have got to make that decision and, and let go of the other one so that they can go on and do their life as well. Um, I've, I've say, yeah, bring it on, the quick divorce. Okay. Mm -hmm. Personally? Well, I, I think... Well, I know for myself um, that divorce is about the saddest thing that can... or one of the saddest things yeah. that can possibly happen to you. And I, I don't think anybody gets divorced easily. And especially if there are children involved, that makes it even more complicated, doesn't it? And I think the process has to take longer then because there are more people having to accustom themselves to the idea of this yeah. relationship ending. But I, I think I'd... Well, I know, I, I, I would need time actually to to accustom myself to the idea of getting a divorce it took me six years to get my divorce yeah. uh, it was you know 30 years ago now um I do you not it, think you wasted but, six years well no because i wasn't absolutely sure i wasn't going to go back and what i just about your partner what i just about well him? no there was he really mm. i think we were we were both a bit unsure and and it, it took us that long just to to really feel that it was the the right thing to do and, and i'd met somebody else by then but you've got to think carefully before you do it because they're not easily dis Disposable things, no, marriages. Not. You know, you yeah. go into them. We all go into them, don't we? Seriously, thinking this is going to work. This yeah. is going to be forever. So, you know, to then end that very quickly and say, right, I'm done with that. I'm off. You know, I, I think that in a way, that's you're not doing justice to yourself or to the marriage or to the other person if it's such a quick sudden you, uh, decision. I mean, you are quite right. I think divorce is a horrible thing, even if it's you who wants it most mm. of all. It's a horrible thing to go through, but. I would say, like you were saying, you know, six years. And obviously it's up to the individual, isn't it? Mm, but, and, and, you know, everybody's circumstances. Nobody knows what goes on behind the doors of any home, really, and who's to blame yeah. and who's what to blame and everything. But I think once you've gone through the process of thinking, right, no, this really is what I want or what we want, mm. I think get it over and done with, because life is so short. I mean, you've got to be but sure it's not just a bad patch, haven't you? Uh, oh, absolutely. You know. But I think... By the time you get to that point, most mm. people have. I don't think people generally go on the whim. Oh, you know, ooh, Sunday, 10 o'clock, I think I want to divorce. And also, once know. that trust has gone in a relationship, yeah. Yeah. it's very difficult to get that back. Mm. It yeah. is, but it also is easy to throw a marriage out the window mm. quickly. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. a lot of people can walk away now, mm. you know, and do walk away. Uh, you know, because uh, people walk out for lots of simple reasons, and you've got to have a really big reason, haven't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I think... think also, it depends if you're bitter mm. and also if you want revenge. If you want revenge, <laughs> then uh, you might keep that man waiting for a long time. But anyway, um, <laughs> particularly if he's met a very young woman. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm not talking about me at all. No, no, no. <laughs> but I think, um, I, I mean, I haven't got a divorce and I've been separated since 2001. Yeah. No, and, and, and it's not Nine because... Years. Yes, but it's not because I am like you, you know, that I'm waiting to see if we get back together. <laughs> <laughs> Just because now, why? What, what? The reason is because the, the idea of actually ringing up and saying, "Excuse me, I'd, I'd like a divorce. What do I do?" And that's the thing that puts me off. Do I write? Th do I sign this? Do I go to a solicitor who's going to charge me a fortune? What I don't. Uh, you don't so know. I've gone all. Oh, Maybe da, 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 this da, da. year is your year then. I know. Maybe it's just it's doing. It's just a matter year. of somebody said, "Er, love, sign that." Yeah. And I've got. He said, "Divorce now." I'd. I'd be fine. So it's not for any other reason. And I think that's what happens with people. Oh. But, Shay, maybe that's why you haven't met anybody else, though, because you've not let go of the other thing. Maybe oh, it's yes. Move on, Shay. Yes, I know that, and because, I, you know, I'd find it very difficult. Now, oh, my God, can you imagine? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, where you're going, you might be there for another five years, yeah? Well, no, no, it's no. this year. If, it I meet, so, if I could have Ed... 
Can I have it? <laughs> no, he's mine. Oh, he's mine. She won't give me him, so well, I'm not... Mr Ed is yeah, staying like Mr. Ed. with Miss McDonald. <laughs> but thank you, girls.